Hi, I'm Aaron of Square Thunder, and we design all kinds of cool stuff to help companies grow, including logos and branding design. This is Fast Logo Friday, where every week I design a logo based on a random weird word. So not only do you get to learn a new word and what it means, where it comes from a little bit, you also get to watch me design a logo. Do you know the word bulwark? B-U-L-W-A-R-K. It comes from a Middle English word about the 15th century, which came from an old Dutch compound word of the words bull, B-U-L-L-E, which translates roughly tree trunk, and work, W-E-R-K, which is translated to work. You've probably heard the word bulwark if you've grown up uh, singing old hymns. It was used in the English translation of Martin Luther's hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, a bulwark never failing. The word can be used as both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it means a strong wall built as a fortress or a defense structure. It can also have a figurative meaning, meaning a strong support or protection for something where you might have a, a bulwark around your finances or your emotions. It also is a nautical term, meaning the railing or top edge of the upper deck of a ship. As a verb, it simply means to build strongly or fortify uh, or make a stronghold or a safeguard against something. Today, I'm gonna to use the word bulwark to design a logo for a fictional brand of vodka. So I'm gonna be looking for uh, some design elements of, uh, that show kind of a, a strong tower, maybe the top of a parapet wall of a castle, uh, something like that. I kind of also want to explore a couple of different typeface choices. I'm kind of thinking like a, a black letter gothic style uh, of a font, um, but we'll see where that goes. I've been looking at a couple of different vodka brands to compare and see what others are doing, uh, just to see what color spaces and uh, choices are made there. I don't want this logo design to stand out as an abnormality in the space. I want it to kind of blend, but I also want it to be uh, unique and identifiable, of course. Uh, so that's always the challenge, is to stand out without being a sore thumb, but also to um, not be uh, a complete alien in the space, I guess. As usual, I'm starting off sketching some rough ideas on paper. It's a great way to explore ideas quickly and uh, get things out really fast without any significant effort uh, and uh, self-editing self along the way. From here, we'll jump into Illustrator and start refining one of those ideas a little bit further.
Finally, we'll move into some design mock-up so we can see what it will look like in the real world. Thanks for watching Fast Logo Friday. This has been episode number 22. Every week, I design a new logo based on a random weird word. If you wanna click right here somewhere, YouTube is gonna suggest another video that it thinks you might like. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week right here on Fast Logo Friday. I'm Aaron with Square Thunder. Stay awesome.